A major red flag. Um, I'd probably go with Ant Man. Ant Man. I I feel like if your I feel like if your favorite superhero is Ant Man, you probably grew up like playing in the dirt or like eating mulch. Like you're one of those kids that would eat mulch. Not me. Definitely not me. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of, Ant Man. Um, Deadpool. Um, I think his humor is like really childish. <laughs> We're gonna lock in Superman. He's too, he's too bulky, too, too, too like gym bro, you know? Like, you gotta get him outside of that box and, you know, try new things and not be a red flag all the time. Normally I like superheroes, so it's hard to think of a red flag, but, um, probably the Hulk at the beginning of his arc. Cause you know, everyone at the beginning He's not a superhero yet, I guess. I don't know if that counts, but yeah, I mean, anger issues, thinks he can separate it. Um, he's not, he doesn't understand his like anger side, the Hulk side, and he thinks he can get rid of it and then it comes out and you know, he can't control it. And so that's not a good thing to do. Um, yeah, definitely a red flag if they push everything down and it don't deal with all of their issues and then it explodes out of them and like creates chaos. Oh, I have a lot of thoughts on this. There's only one answer, and that's Captain America. I'm so why? sorry. Why? No, 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 no. What do you mean, why? If you like Captain America, you're an art. He's what? a cop. He's not that bad. He's a cop! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Anna or but. The Batman is a giant red flag. Here, here's, my, here's my thought process on this, right? Ooh. You have okay. a, you have a, a man who has who has who runs by a dead parents angle and he everybody horribly like he does i don't i think he, i don't think he has any close friends he just stay, stays in his cave until oh no there, there's a crime out there i i better go ditch my date to go save these people you know and what he can't rely on any of the robins to help him with that he can't take a day off you know he's you know what yeah you're making a couple points. You're making a couple points. Why does he have no friends? That's not good. That's not good vibe. <laughs> he he he's socially awkward, and he is he's a rich kid with a ton of issues who for who for some reason doesn't bother with going to therapy because therapy does not exist in the Batman universe. I don't care what anyone says. Ooh, and he doesn't redistribute his wealth. He's a trust fund baby who beats people up. He's, is he, is he, he relies on daddy's money to get by. None of that money is his. He's a terrible, terrible businessman, in my opinion. And also, oh his father isn't that much better, but this is not about, this is not about Thomas Wayne. Anyways. What, and you know what? Is, Period. The, the biggest issue that I have, right, is that he he basically gets gets all the girls right all of them all, every single one in the world but the problem is is that he just abandons them li later on like i can't do this i can't be in a relationship i don't want people people that are close to me to get hurt dude like you're in your 30s and you still won't have a relationship it's too much you can't schedule some time